Good day, everyone. This is Calvin Professor C here. So I just want to say thank you to all of you because I recently hit one of my personal goal for year 2020. And what is that? Hmm. That is about a year and a half ago, I was at 60 subscribers. And on October 31st, I have finally hit 1000 subscribers on this this very YouTube channel. Now, as you all know, this channel is actually created for you guys because without you guys, I will not be doing all these videos. And so by subscribing to my channel, I it gives it just gives me so much energy to continue to produce more video to help new mortgage agent making more money faster and this is my motto right so first of all i want to say thank you thank you thank you if this is the first time you are at my channel i want you to watch the whole video subscribe like it does help me a lot and you know um, it also helps other people easier to find this video okay now as you can see on the screen, um, today I am going to go back to uh, teach you some technical stuff in the mortgage industry. And recently there is um, a few of the students that I have is asking me about insurance and mortgage and home purchase. And they're a little bit confused, right? One of the students asked me, well, I heard that you need to buy the home insurance and then there's a default insurance and all that like he's confused about all this type of insurance and home purchase and mortgage and like exactly what kind of insurance you need to buy right so I'm here to tell you that yes there are some insurance that you need to buy in order for you to get the um, uh, purchase the home and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is, everything about insurance, mortgage, and home purchase. Okay. So the first type of insurance that you will encounter as a mortgage agent is mortgage protection insurance. It usually comes in the form of either um, life insurance or disability insurance, quick critical illness insurance and all that. So the main thing that you need to understand is this type of insurance, first of all, is offered by, um, you know, some mortgage brokerage or like, you know, if you're a TD, if you're a bank employee, something like that, then uh, say you're a TD mortgage specialist, then they're offered by the bank. Um, for me, like uh, I am a mortgage, uh, Alliance uh, agent, so Mortgage Alliance does have the um, uh, insurance protection uh, offer to our customer, right? So this is Mortgage Protection Insurance. Now the purpose of it is to help the borrowers, oh, hold on, coming back, help the borrowers to pay for the mortgage either in lump sum or cover their monthly payment. So in the form of say mortgage life insurance if you if your client pass away then the insurance would pay the mortgage pay off the mortgage in lump sum either pay off in full or in you know half of it three quarter of it something like that as you know uh, different policy has different uh, lump sum but you know if your client pass away then they will pay uh, off the mortgage totally or you know uh, in a lump sum uh, some critical illness or some uh, 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 disability insurance, then they will cover, say, your monthly mortgage payment. So you do not have to worry about it uh, for, say, 24 months, 12 months or whatever. Right. So those are cover the monthly payment of your mortgage. So at the end of the day, the goal is to, you know, uh, 
make sure that if something bad happened to you, that you do not have to worry about the, um, the mortgage, uh, either the lump sum or the monthly payment so that you can really um, have peace. And that's actually, you know, the goal of the insurance. You don't have to worry about it, right? Now, the second type of insurance is mortgage default insurance. Mortgage default insurance, like, you know, you have heard of CMHC, um, and, you know, they are free default insurance uh, company in Canada, right? So, uh, most of you know, if you have a 20% down payment or less, you need to buy this insurance. It's mandatory, okay? And um, it is the protection of for the bank. It's not really protection for the borrower or your client. It is protecting the banks so that in case the borrower cannot repay, right? And that's why it's called mortgage default. Default means they cannot pay. Then if they cannot pay and the bank cannot, you know, uh, you left the country, say, right? Then the bank would basically just go and claim the insurance and they get back the money. So it's an insurance for the bank, okay? And when do you need to purchase this or when do when does the borrower need to purchase this is when they have less than 20% down payment those are the usual case but there are some other incidents that you need that insurance even if you have 20% uh, down payment but those are a little bit more exception normally with less than 20% down payment you need this okay so this is the mortgage default insurance like the CMHC high ratio, things like that. Then, there is the home insurance or fire insurance. So this is not offered by us, nor not offered by the lender whatsoever. These are the uh, uh, insurance offered by, say, State Farm, Desjardins, um, you know, Allstate, um, at TD Insurance and all different insurance brokers. And the purpose of this is to, you know, uh, first of all, this is mandatory if you're buying a house and just like driving a car, if you do not have this, you are not supposed to drive the car or get the house. Okay, so this is mandatory. And the purpose of it is to pay the borrower if the property is burned down or you know get robbed or you know flooded or something like that, right? So, uh, uh, and this is mandatory. So if your if your client all of a sudden uh, burn down the house, um, then this insurance would cover it and pay back the mortgager as well as your client, right? So if your if your client owe any mortgage, then the insurance would pay their mortgage first. Any money left over would pay your client, the borrower. So this is a home insurance or sometimes called fire insurance. And the last type that uh, is less talk about, is probably the less talk about, the least talk about in out of the four is the title insurance. Um, it is almost now mandatory um, because 90, like most of the in incidents, when you buy a house, the lawyer would buy the title insurance for you. So this is, you know, the least common of all. Um, what it does is say that when you buy a house and there's some title fraud, right? Uh, give you an example, if the people who sell you the house is actually not the real owner of the house. So they may pretend to be the owner of the house by um, making a fraud ID or something like that. And then all of a sudden they sell you the house and then later on you find out that, oh my God, the guy that sell me the house is not even the owner of the house, right? Then there's some title issue um, and all that then this insurance would actually protect the borrower if there's a problem, right? So, 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 um, when you buy the house, the lawyer would actually usually buy the title insurance for you. 
and most of the time a lot of the lenders now require the lawyer put to buy that so i almost can tell you that it is like mandatory i haven't seen people not buying the title insurance for a long long time um, almost all lawyers would help you buy the title insurance when you buy the house okay so this is it so this the, the four type of insurance that is related to buying a home mortgage and all that so i hope you learned something and if you do like this um again please subscribe to my channel uh, below that uh, you know i also do live workshop twice a month and the website to um to go to is the mortgagehackercanada.com you will get more information on that uh, i do have a book um actually i do have the book here um i do have the physical book here uh, mortgage hack a uh, new mortgage agent handbook um, and you know you can go to Amazon and buy it you can buy it in the e book format or the uh, paperback format uh, I it's a quick read every page is a uh, concentrated information no I don't you know I don't like to write a lot of words that is meaningless I just write what you need to do um, to become a successful mortgage agent right so um, thank you for watching this video uh, leave me a message if you watch to the end of the video so I know I do you appreciate you watch every single minute of it and I hope you learned something so I will see you next week thank you